welcome. Shout out Katy Perry for this lighting concept. Check out her new music video. It's very strange. I chose this club lighting because we'll be doing an effect that resembles getting drunk, getting very sick, having double vision. This is an effect completely done in Premiere, so let's get started. So I have this old footage from a short film I shot a while ago um, called Reddit 854. And basically in it, I get blackout drunk. Um, so this effect works in two different ways. We'll have the effect on the clip, and we'll have an adjustment layer on top of that. So what you're going to do is you're going to alt-click on your video and drag it up to duplicate the video layer. Next, what I want you to do is I want you to go up to about wherever you can see the borders of your clip. You're going to go to Effect Controls and you're going to mask out about half this clip. Make sure you're on the top clip. And then what I want you to do is set the blend mode to something like multiply just so you can see the borders for a second. And you're going to feather that out until it's not noticeable at all. Okay. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do this and I want you to kind of experiment yourself. Um, if you go into your blend mode, I've found that the best blend mode is lighten. And then what you'll do is you'll pull it over to the left. And there you go, you got you know a double vision effect happening there. But there's nothing happening really, so we're going to do some automation. We're going to do some animation and really get this thing to pop. Um, let's set a keyframe on the position. Let's drag that out to about five seconds. We'll reset the values so it animates in the effect. Great. And then we'll go to the end where I kind of regain consciousness. About there. Reset it again. Might even drag this out further just to really make it pop. Maybe make it a little quicker, a little longer. Everyone's got those moments when they wake up and they feel like their head is not part of their body. This is exactly what effect that is. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to add an adjustment layer, new adjustment layer, okay. Drag that bad boy on. Go to about, you know, where your length of your double vision is. Now we're gonna add Gaussian blur. Drag that bad boy on top. Effect controls. And what I like to do is just totally play around with this. So I'll set a keyframe in the beginning. And we go to here. Bump it all the way up. And you want to repeat edge pixels and make sure it's on horizontal. Bump it way up. Maybe come over here. You don't want to go too low, or you s the double vision is a little too crisp and it looks pretty fake. Really have fun with this one. Maybe you know, way up here. Maybe a couple frames later, you're like, "Oh, I got, I got consciousness back. Perfect." Then it comes and it goes. You know, you guys have been there before. And then let's go to our very end. One last big blur. And back to zero. And a few more things to this just to really make it pop. We're going to go effects, Mumetri, if I can spell it right. Metric color, wonderful, effect controls, 
find vignette. Edit that bad boy out. Maybe something like that. And now what you'll do, keyframe amount, drag that out, reset it so it goes back to zero, so it starts at zero. Vignette comes in. Maybe here it gets really dark. Maybe it goes away. Then it comes back with a vengeance. Slowly starts. Fade out and we'll set it to zero here, not minus zero. Great, okay, we'll do a couple more things in the metric color. We're gonna go to basic correction, tone, and we're gonna mess with the highlights. Because you know, when you open up the blinds in the morning, it does not feel good. We're gonna set a keyframe at zero. Bump these highlights way up, come back down, way up again, come back down, way up, and let's reset that to zero. Awesome, awesome. Okay, one more thing we're gonna do to really make this Finished effect is go to tint, add a little tint to the adjustment layer. Okay, we added a tint and we'll keyframe that. Start at zero. We don't want to tint all the way. I mean, that's a little aggressive. Maybe 45. Give some color back. Take all color away. We got really blurry there. Let's take a lot of color away. Give some back. Take some away. And slowly regain some color. Okay, let's watch our effect. So I don't know about you guys, but this is exactly how I feel in the morning after drinking. I sometimes like to go through and Let's highlight all these keyframes. Bezier just kind of smooths them out. Go to our Lumetri color keyframes. Bezier. Bezier. Those look nice and tint. We will Bezier as well. Beautiful. And if you go to your double video file, sometimes on this one, what I like to do is make this one easy ease in and make one a couple frames away. Copy that keyframe over and make this ease out. It creates a nice parabola. We'll make this one ease out. We'll make this one ease in. At the end, you can copy all these. I already have it saved. Save preset, you know, save it as wasted or whatever you're thinking. And then when you have any other clips, like I have this one of me wearing a GoPro on my head, it makes my nose look huge, but you know, making fun of yourself is all part of the game. Um, I added my drunk preset to this clip. Another fun thing that you can do, which I'll show right now, is 
you can make some drunk audio. So it's super simple. I'll show you in this clip I have right here. Um, if you go to your audio, I do is I go low pass, add the low pass on, effect controls, low pass, set a keyframe. You want to make this high so it starts as high as it goes so you can hear everything. And then you want to really lower that. Holy moly, I'm wasted. And at the end, click res don't click reset. At the end, drag it all the way back up. So your audio comes back. Okay, so that's just many of the ways that you can use this drunk effect to, you know, really add something to your video. You know, I had this short film with this clip, and it was funny on its own, but I think this effect really adds to that video, and I might actually go back and do a director's cut of that short film with this new effect, just to give it that little extra pop. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, stay tuned for more. Subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day. Try not to get too drunk.